Today, we will go through the discovery menu items of the Device42 platform. Active Directory LDAP users job is used to synchronize end users or administrative users into the Device42 platform. End user records are brought in and can be associated with devices or assets or other objects within the platform. Administrator users are brought in for access to the Device42 platform. You can also have groups that are in your Active Directory duplicated within the Device42 platform. So the administrative users from your Active Directory can be brought into the same group within the Device42 platform. Agent-based scans allow you to download a single executable binary that will run on a scheduled task on the endpoint, will then send its data over HTTPS port 443 back to the main appliance. Certificate discovery job allows you to scan an IP address, several IP addresses, or a network range for devices that have SSL certificates installed. A cloud discovery job allows you to scan your private cloud as well as your public cloud. In the public cloud, we support several different providers. From this UI, you can see we support Alibaba, Amazon API, Amazon AWS, DigitalOcean, Google Cloud, Intune, Linode, Microsoft Azure, OpenStack, Oracle Cloud, or standalone Kubernetes. DNS Own Sync One Way Discovery Job allows you to do a DNS own transfer into device 42, which will associate that information to the IP addresses that have been discovered. Database discovery allows you to have a single job, which will query just database information on a particular endpoint. External discovery tools opens a new link and a new page that gives you some additional tools that can be used to help with discovery. The Remote Collector is present, Windows Discovery Service, Linux-based auto discovery software, Ping Sweep, standalone tool, NetFlow Collector, and Packet Capture. Hypervisor NICs and Windows Jobs is the most common discovery job that people use when deploying Device 42. The options within the Hypervisor NICs job, as you can see, is very comprehensive, where you can do your star NIC systems, which are Linux, CentOS, Red Hat, et cetera. As you can see through the full list, AIX, Cisco, Docker, there's IBM, uh, KVM, Libvirt, Nutanix, Prism, version two and version three. Also Oracle VM, uh, O Virtual Red Hat, VMware, Windows, and Windows RM. IPMI Redfish Scan allows you to discover BMCs through IPMI and the Redfish API. Nmap is typically used for an initial scan into an environment that you've had no visibility into. It allows you to scan the entire network and it will give you an idea of the different systems that are on that network, from printers to servers, VoIP telephony items, end user workstations, and any network equipment that may be on that network segment. Ping Sweep is a basic discovery job that allows you to see live IP addresses on a network or several network ranges, the Remote Collectors page allows you to see the Remote Collectors installed, any WDS systems that are associated with the Remote Collector. This is also the page where you generate the one-time password for configuring additional Remote Collectors. The Simple Discovery Wizard allows you to create multiple jobs against the same infrastructure across different job types. Storage Arrays allows you to, to discover your network storage devices that are in your enterprise. SNMP discovery targets any devices that are on port 161 as your network devices, such as switches, routers, any equipment that's responding on port 161 will be discovered as part of this job. TCP port scan is a great job to use for discovering networks where you're trying to isolate your Windows and or your star NICS systems. A TCP port scan job will automatically create a hypervisor's Nix Windows job for the associated operating system that it finds, Windows and your star Nix systems. The port scan job will also automatically update those jobs as new devices come onto the network or devices are removed from the network. The subsequent Windows and Nix jobs are then updated accordingly. 
UCS ACI load balancers are targeted towards Cisco UCS and ACI equipment along with F5 load balancers. Unprocessed device records is when the Device42 platform was unable to determine if it was a unique record or an existing record that couldn't be updated. Finally, on Warranty Sync, there's five major vendors we support to communicate with their API and retrieve warranty information on devices that you've purchased. Dell, HP, Lenovo, Meraki, and Cisco. Finally, once you've become familiar with the different methods of discovery, you'll be able to determine which method is best suited for your environment.